What I want to do is I want to try and catch some bass or even pike with a lipless crankbait or a chatterbait. And that jig is just a backup. I got a Corrado DC six gear with a Corrado medium moderate. And that's exactly what I wanted for a cast. should be good and sometimes you'll see me raise my rod tip up that's because I don't don't want it to get stuck in the weeds and that should be a good drag here that's there we go that's funny because that's literally how I set my drag and your red eye shad doesn't have to be red it can be red orange chrome with blue Yes, that almost backlash. That's got to be a fish. I haven't caught a fish here in a while. I feel like this spot never fails, though. And another thing, too, people will ask me, why do I reel it so fast or whatever? Well, that's because if I... If I cast it out there and I reel it slow, I'm gonna get stuck in weeds. Now, sometimes you wanna do that. You wanna hit the weeds and rip it out because you'll get one. But I'm not trying to do that today. Got him. That didn't take long. Told you. Good one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh. Not as good as I thought. They just fight really, really hard out here. And good thing I brought players. He choked it. Here. There we go. Get him back in. Nope, nope, nope. I know. We got a little bit of blood on you. Here. It's not as big as I thought, but he fought hard. Soon as I get something going, the rain starts again. I don't mind fishing in the rain. You guys gotta understand, like, I wanna film without rain, so I'm not having to, you know, get a cold or constantly wipe my camera. And that's backlashing, and it came out. See, what I was telling you about ripping that bait is as soon as you rip it, sometimes you'll get a bite. Not always, but get me a couple of uh, a couple bass and a pike. Make for a cool little shore fishing video. That's another thing too. Like, before all the stuff in the world was going on, I used to, you know, travel and go on people's boats and all that. I still like that and I still wanna do that. But I'll be honest with you, man, bank fishing, especially this year, I've had so much fun doing it. Like, I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. And that's weeds. Got him right there. Go down on that drag. That's a pig. No, 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 not hooked right. Please tell me that was on. Oh, wow. Hooked perfect, too. I thought I was going to lose them. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, yeah. I hit my drag a little too tight, but I made it. Oh. That's a two and a half or a three. It's got to be. That's another gorgeous fish. Man, I love this year. What do we got here?
I don't have my lip grip on me. That's okay. I thought I did. Just have to do it the old way. Just hope he don't flop. You got two pounds. Eight ounces. Two eight, two nine. Just fish to the scale. Beautiful. So fat. Amazing. There he goes. Wow. It's a bass, but I'll still check the line for abrasion. Well, I wanted one more fish. I got the one that I thought was bigger than it actually is, and then I got that 2829. Not a bad fish. Had a drag was a little tight, but it'll be all right. Got a, another one of the two fish videos that you guys seem to like on the GoPro. What happened is it was uh, fishing was decent this morning. And then it started raining and storming, so basically took a break, came back out after the rain. And I don't really do that good after the rain. You guys that have been watching my channel from day one know that. <laughs> so. That's another thing too that you can do with your crankbaits, especially liplesses. You'll notice when you get like a red eye shad and you get like a little bit of weeds on it, it'll run to the side, pop it. When you pop it, it usually fixes it. Can we get a third fish? I don't want to get greedy here, but. <laughs> I thought that was weeds, but that's a fish. What? He's got to have a ton of weeds with him. It didn't even look that big. Kind of wonder why it was pulling drag. Unless that's a monster, but I don't know. Oh, he's hooked sideways. He's hooked sideways with weeds. Oh crap. That's like a, that's another two pounder. I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. There we go. Why did you do? I thought it was. I thought that was weeds. Why'd you do that to yourself? He'll be all right. Just gotta get this hook out. And I also don't want to hurt him, but there we go. Okay. Here we go, he's all beat up and it's not just from my bait either. That's another pound and a half, skinny, but, well, three fish. Good stuff, gotta get the release. Actually, the four, before the release, that's another one stop. It's two pounds. It said 115 and then it said two and I don't wanna, Keep them out too long. Oh yeah. They love them out here. I hit a pike at the lay down over there last night. A pike? Yeah. Yeah, were you on a boat? Yeah. Yeah. Well I got a kayak in the back of the truck. I just don't feel like getting it out right now. Exactly, I know how that goes. Not feeling like doing it, for sure. But I'm seeing the little bluegills all over, so it's like hard not to get out of your business. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, it's, I'm sure you know, just like I do, it's tough, but it's a lot of fun out here. That's the thing, it's hard, so it's like I don't get as disappointed. Exactly, it's, it's safe, very. But it's like I'm still out here, so. And like, you know, like some people think it's just, oh, you cast and catch. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Not at this lake. That's been a lot. Well, that's the other thing, too. People like think they come out here and just slap fish. No. They realize that that's not at all. Like this, this is a tournament bass lake. Yeah, this <laughs> is yeah. When, there, when you find them, you can get some monsters. Oh, there's giants out here. That's the thing. I, giants. All the ones I've had this year out of this lake have been monsters so far. Uh, bass or pike? He was only like a 17-inch pike, but... Oh, he was probably really fat. Well, he, he was nice, but I caught a 24-inch one over there on that parking lot. And then I caught a monster bass, dude, and he was... Fat, yeah. Had a mouth on it. Got him. Hey, as soon as you left. Hey, as soon as you left. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That has got to be a good fish. Was it a pike? Please don't come off. That is a pike, yes. This will be interesting. He's wrapped all in these weeds. I was hoping that was a pike. Got yep, he's gonna run again. Here, come on, I'm gonna get you up. Here, he's hooked all weird. I don't wanna do this, but I might have to. That's fire part, right? <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. Oh, nice grab. Oh, there we go. He just, he came unhooked. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. You know, I've gained a new appreciation for pike this year. I used to always, I hate pike. This sucks. But no, that's beautiful. Look at the colors. Magnificent. Magnificent, did I really just say that? What a fat pike. So yeah, like I said, red eye shed. That pike tried to take me down. I see what happened is I I thought it was a big bass, because that happens when you fish. And I went to turn the drag down because I thought I had it too tight. He buried me in the weeds, but when I turned that drag down, I held my thumb on it, like to emulate that I didn't turn the drag down, got that fish out. But next time I need to leave the drag alone. It's all right though, it's all part of it.